Well, what would you do if someone came at you with a knife? Would you turn, would you run, or would you take it on? Well, they say heroes walk among us, and our next guest is all that and more. After a threat from a man holding a knife, mining worker Blake Tony took Oof. matters into his own hands. Another diner distracted the man while Blake tackled him. And he joins us now from Ningen in New South Wales. Blake, you legend. legend. Talk us through what happened. <laughs> Yeah, good morning, guys. Um, no, it was just uh, my father and I were up in Dubbo just shopping for um, little fella's birthday that's coming up next week and um, just decided to have lunch at the mall there. And, um, yeah, next thing you know, this fella just comes out of the blue and just starts yelling, I'm going to stab someone. And um, I looked at my father and we both hopped up and um, my father picked up a baby high chair and started walking towards him and um, was talking to him and um, got him distracted. So then I've walked around behind the fella and then come from the side and uh, tackled him to the ground and um, done a citizen's arrest on him. So, oh. yeah. citizen's arrest. It's more like a citizen's <laughs> pummeling. A takedown. <laughs> Just an absolute <laughs> takedown. I mean, your dad did, your dad obviously did all the the heavy lifting. Yeah, obviously. Uh, <laughs> yeah. With the chair. That's, that's... Go on, mate, go on. Yeah, no, he, he did pretty well in the situation. He's um he's been in uh in the Department of Justice, I think, for the last fifteen over fifteen plus years. So he's just recently retired and um he's had a lot of training in, in that field with dealing with people like that and how to talk to them and um, stop a situation from eventuating into something major. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I just, I just kind of reacted the way I did, and I just said to myself, "I'm just going to tackle the bike and see what goes from there." And fortunately enough, that's what happened, and the knife fell out, and and yeah. I'm not surprised that's the only thing that didn't fall out of this dude. I mean, you really gave him a working over champion. What did you think when you saw the vision? Um, well. Well, I, I wanted to have a look at it because I, I knew I laid a pretty good uh, tackle on him. <laughs> yeah, look at that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I didn't think it was going to be that good. I mean, that, that's that my left shoulder. I usually hit pretty good with my right. So if it was with my right shoulder, <laughs> it. Um, yeah, no, nah, I was I was actually a bit worried because when the guy hit, hit the ground, um, excuse me, he hit his head first and I was a bit worried that, uh, he might have split his head open, and so I was, you know, I just checked for blood and was asking him if he's alright, he okay. And he didn't really say too much, and um, and yeah, he just just lied there. I mean, he couldn't, he had no chance to get up. He had two blokes that weighed over 100 kilos kneeling on his chest and on his arms. So yeah, it was your old footy no... instincts came into play, that's for sure. But it still must have been pretty scary. I mean, this guy's carrying a knife. Yeah. Um, yeah, to be honest with you, I, I, it just felt like I already knew what to, you already knew what to do in that situation. Mm. When I've never really been in a situation like that, it was just I don't know my head just kicked into a different mode, and and then um, yeah, I just lined him up and bang, there it happened. Finished him off, <laughs> uh, mate. Uh, it's you could be a Queensland. It's like a Trevor Gilmeister tackle in the eighties, <laughs> like just an up and under, <laughs> just completely destroyed the dude. Um, well done, champion. Um, we're, we're glad everything uh, yeah. so, was sorted out. And I'm, so, I'm sure you're going to be an absolute uh, bigger legend now as you go to work in the mines. So no one's going to be taking you on, champion. No, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, I'm already uh, coughing it from all the boys and that at work. <laughs> Um, shout out to Mara C crew, the boys. Yeah, go, go lads. <laughs> go lads. Keep working hard. It's hard work what you do for a living. Um, and that was, um, it was a great, a great end. Um, you're an absolute legend. Thanks for being with us on the show today. That's how you take care of business and that's how you serve out a bit of justice. <laughs> <laughs> Blake style. Australiana. Yeah, right it's there. the best ever. Good on you, Blakey. Hey there today, fans. Sarah and... <laughs> What's my name again? Oh my God. Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?